If you have one of the trouble codes listed on the screen regarding the turbocharger from this Volkswagen Passat, in this video I will show you how to check the electronics from the turbocharger. Over here we've got the turbocharger solenoid. It has a two wire connector and three vacuum lines attached to it. One of the vacuum line will go back into the air filter housing here through this pipe. Then the second one will go around here and connect to this joint here and it will basically take the vacuum from the vacuum pump and the third line will go and connect to the actuator. So basically the vacuum will be taken from the vacuum pump and deliver it to the actuator in order to turn on and off the turbocharger. On top of the actuator we've got a position sensor. So let's remove this heat shield. It has a three wire connector. Then down here we've got another solenoid which again is going to take the vacuum from this joint here and deliver the vacuum through this line. It's going to connect to the blow off valve. Let's go to active tests. Okay, so it looks like we cannot command none of these electronics from the turbocharger. Test of charge air pressure control. It looks like it's turning on the throttle body. So we got to do everything with a voltmeter. And by the way, on this car, you're going to find the manifold absolute pressure sensor or air pressure sensor installed on the intake pipe down here. So you need to get access to it from under the car. There is no way around it. I've got separate videos about this. So if you want to go ahead and check it out, they could install it here, for example, right before the pipe enters into the intake manifold. But anyway, so let's unplug these connectors. You can find the ground here. I'm going to connect on this thing. Let's turn the voltmeter to direct voltage. And let's see the first connector. We've got 12 volts. I'm holding the connector this way. So the first pin from the left is 12.7 volts, the car battery voltage. And the second pin has nothing. Okay, this has to be the ground. I'm gonna verify this. Yeah, it looks like it's the ground. Now let's see the turbocharger solenoid, the main one. The first pin, 12.8 volts. And the second one we've got 2.3 volts. Now let's see what happens if you measure the voltage on both pins. We've got the difference which is 10.4 volts now. So you can see even though we've got the same working principle we've got different signals on the connector and that's why it's important to check them up especially if you have a trouble code related to this. Now let's see on this position sensor I'm holding it with the clip on top and let's start from the left. Nothing on the first pin in the middle one nothing and the third one we've got 5 volts which makes sense because most of the position sensors will have 5 volts as reference so what i'm gonna do next is to plug in the connectors on these three electronics and i want to see what values we're gonna find when the connector is on so let's take out this cover the black terminal is connected to the ground so we're gonna see the signal here we've got 0.1 volts on the first pin from the right here so we've got 0.15 volts on this black wire the brown wire has the battery voltage again which makes sense so the reason i'm doing these tests with a voltmeter is because that's what most people will have as a scan tool let's say like that okay so these pins are numbered let's go to pin number one the one towards the front car battery voltage and pin number two again the car battery voltage okay that's pretty strange as you can see here we have 13 volts and here we have only 12.8 volts now let's see on this one i'm gonna go these ones are numbered as well so let's go with the red wire number one nothing let's go with number two in the middle 0 0.7 volts and let's go with number three the yellow one here we've got five volts again so i guess the middle one has to be the signal wire so we can verify that by applying vacuum to the actuator actually i don't need to apply vacuum i can just push the actuator Let's see if i can do that from behind here okay you can see that how the voltage is changing so we are right now on the signal wire which is pin number two in the middle here so i'm pushing basically the road this one which will move the turbocharger flaps inside but anyway the next step is going to be to show you the resistance we have on the pins from each electronics around so let's unplug again the connectors okay so you can turn the voltmeter to ohms okay i'm on pin number one pin number two to the middle one here i'm not gonna read it for you you're gonna see it on the screen let's see between pin one and three 5945 ohms now let's see between pin number two in the middle and pin number three we've got 6000 ohms 
Okay, so these are the values. So we are done with this position sensor of the actuator. At least on this one, we've got bigger pins. We've got 16 ohms, 15.9 ohms. Okay, let's plug in the connector and we are done with this solenoid as well. Finally, let's check this one. So again, we've got two pins. It will be a lot easier if you have, for example, these connectors. You just plug them in and you've got access to the wires. Actually, this one can be easily removed. 39 ohms. So you can see, as I said, these two solenoids will have the same working principle, but anyway, they have different values when you read, when you read them. So now if you want to replace them, this one, for example, was quite easy to remove. For this one, you have to pry it out from these rubber bushings. We've got two rubber bushings here. And for this one, it doesn't look like we have a part number, but so basically you'll have to disconnect the rod from the turbocharger. And then you've got here a couple of bolts, three bolts actually. Also unplug this vacuum line. You take it out, put the new one in. And yeah, the turbocharger usually is quite reliable. If you do the oil change on time, obviously the bearing should not fail too fast. I hope this information will help you to determine what problem you have with your turbocharger. So have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.